Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are starting off the morning at this Riverside Cafe recommended by a friend. And yeah, so far, it's pretty good. It looks beautiful. looks pretty good like from the cafe itself there's like a big Buddha statue on the other side of the river and I'm just gonna put up the name of the cafe right over here because I don't think I'll be able to pronounce is you are you -E oh, our drinks are here All right. cheers guys first coffee of the day It's pretty hot out here. Maybe it's just the you know current weather, but they do have like aircon seats inside. Let me just adjust the camera. I really like the vibe here. Um, there's a lot of boat tours going around. Like every minute, every 30 seconds, there's one boat passing by, and it's like pretty nice. Oh my god, that looks so good. Look at that. Anyway, uh, I ordered a latte and yeah, just just to be you know just to be careful when you guys come here. There's like a different level of like sweetness level, and I asked for less sweet, but this is still very very sweet. So yeah, you might want to ask for like no sugar at all. It's not bad, no complaints. Just my taste but maybe I can't take sugar anymore but Remind me of those cheap cake in Myanmar. But it's pretty good. But it feels cheap. Like very spongy. But it's good.
I'm having a coconut blueberry cake. Not bad. We're just walking around the neighborhood and then we see this beautiful temple so we're just gonna take a few photos <laughs> and then oh my god there's a lot of cows what okay let me just show you guys There are a lot of cows and buffaloes in the temple. <laughs> Feels like home, man. Feels like I'm back in my hometown with a lot of cows and my farm. the uh, Thailand animal shelter you can do your donations and feed the cow as well but we didn't feed it interesting all right guys so one problem that you guys will face coming to this cafe you know coming in is not a problem but going out you can't really get a you know a ride outside because None of the drivers want to come in and pick you up. We try Tada, we try Grab, we try his um, local Thailand app, Bot. 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 Yeah, Bot. And we've been trying for like the past 30 minutes. And we couldn't get any, you know, drivers at all. So just be cautious when you come here. All right. We found our right here. First to took in. 2024. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Just inside Apple Store, trying to escape the heat. It's a viewing deck from the Apple Store, which is actually quite beautiful. Oof, let's see.
looks beautiful. It's an art gallery on the 8th floor of Siam Icon. It's beautiful. There's so many art pieces over here. Hello, Gumi. Gumi, what? Spending two hours here inside Icon Siam, I'm still here. <laughs> I just don't want to get out of this place. It's just quite cooling. There's a lot of things to explore. There's a lot of things to shop. Yeah, it's just like MBS in Singapore. Um, currently, gonna have some late lunch at this place called Luk Kai Trong. It's traditional Thai food, but I think they make it a little bit fa fancy. So yeah, just gonna meet a friend here, have lunch, and then in the evening when it cools down, I'll be going to a brewery and then exploring a craft beer brewery here in Bangkok. <laughs> so what we have, what we order, some chicken curry, um, tom yum soup, as usual we have some omelette and some beef as well. The, the quality of the food is really really good. Um, the curry itself comes with a, a set of prata, so yeah, you might not want to order too many cups, but yeah, here we go. Wow, but then did you know me visa? I buy Shao Luya. Did you know me? Don't say one. Shao Luya. Don't need on ya. But net head ya me mong net ya. Oh, lau, lau, lau. Ma ding ma ding ma ding ma ding ma ding. Ma ding do you mong we buy lau? Ma ding ma ding do you mong we buy lau? Ma ya do Shao Luya. Do lau ma ya. You mong we buy ding ma ya. เอาเบียร์ของไม่ใช่อ่ะมันนี่อ่ะดีเดียวเลยว่ะถ้าดูดูใครไปก็ได้แค่เบียร์ของเขาเลยไม่ได้ดูดูดูดูดูดูดูด
ไม่ชิวแต่ก็ยาดายเดียวเราต้องมีได้ใช่ไหมวะมันต้องไปจังเซมบิวบิวเลยดูไม้นะวางตัวพัดยาเยอะ so this next place that I went to I think, in my opinion, they have the best beer in Thailand, best craft beer in Thailand. United People Brewing is one and a half hours away, you know, drive drive away, and yeah, it's not accessible by public transport, not that I know of, not that Google showed me. But you can take like um, they are BTS to one of the, you know. Near a town, and then take a cab from there. That way, it will be cheaper. If not, you can just take a uh, one and a half hour taxi ride there. We went there, and surprisingly, there's quite a lot of crowd there. You know, for that far out, you know, brewery, a brew pub, people still come and support them. So, yeah, you can tell how good their beer is, and the food as well. It's pretty good. Quite decent. They have some interesting dishes like you know, pork skin and quite a few dishes which I couldn't remember because I was just you know drinking a lot. But yeah, United People Brewing. Make sure to check them out. So the next craft beer bar is pretty interesting, right? So they are not an official shop, uh, and on Google Map they are listed as Om's Living Room. And when I got there, it looks exactly like a living room. And they are, you know, not an official shop, so they don't put up signage, they don't put up anything. Kind of like a, they are selling illegal beers because they are actually selling homebrew beer, and the beers are incredible. So when you enter the The living room, you will see a bunch of menus stick up to the wall. A bunch of beer, you know, menu that they have brewed over the past years, and it's just piling up there. It's incredible to see some of the styles, uh, some of the styles that they put out, some of the styles that they have, the flavors that they have are just crazy, right? So you sh- you guys should definitely try that out. And the people there are just really really friendly. The only thing is that you might need to bring your own food. Because they don't do food, it's literally like a living room, uh, Om's living room. Go and check it out. I think they are not really like an official official craft beer bar. The prices there are relatively cheap. So yeah, if you are if you love craft beer, if you love to drink a good beer, you should definitely check that out. I think in Thailand they have this thing called you know you can only set up a brewery and then sell it at the premise itself. I think. I think it's same for a lot of countries. I think in Singapore, I can't sell my home brew as well. So yeah, but in Thailand, I think you can brew in the uh, in the country and sell it, right? You have to, yeah. They have they have some strange rules about craft beer. You can import it and sell it. There are quite a lot of craft beer shops that runs like that, but yeah. But definitely go and check out this. <laughs> This Om's living room on Google Map, and then yeah, go and give their beer a try. The people there are super nice. Even though we have like a language barrier, they try their best to talk to us, and they're just incredible. So definitely check out the place. <laughs> No, oh, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, 
I think I ended off the night there and then the next few days I was just busy with other stuff. I didn't really even touch my camera so yeah that is it for me for this Thailand vlogs and yeah that is it guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.